Hola, benitos and benitas, and welcome to today's episode and a new episode of Sim Speed Build. And this I'm calling Building Brazil. If you don't know what benito or benita means, then I just called you beautiful. Um, but I will not be speaking Portuguese for the rest of the episode because I can't speak Portuguese and I do definitely don't have enough to get me through any sort of long term conversation or anything that's passed. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm good. Thanks. So today we're going to be building Brazil. I went to go visit Brazil with my boyfriend uh, for Christmas. Uh, we went for three weeks and we went to a place called Ichikari that is in Bahia in Brazil. And we went by the beach and there was like loads of stunning houses and stuff and I've always been looking for a way to do an island living save and find inspiration for kind of this you know boutique island living you know fancy island getaway or you know rustic island getaway kind of vibe and whenever I search Pinterest or whatever I, I just struggle to find anything so if anyone else is also looking for some inspiration I suggest go on to Airbnb and time in time type in um, by uh, um, Ichikari um, in Brazil and you might actually find some really really nice architecture that you could actually use for your houses but if anyone else has any other good suggestions I would definitely be open for it but for now I'm going to try keep um, the island living to kind of the Brazilian style architecture. I also have to apologize as I do actually have a bit of a cold today so I'm not sounding my greatest but I kind of said ah I'll persevere on persevere on and sure if I sound horrible like that's crap it's, it'd be crap. So in relation to most of the houses that I'll be building um, a big issue or like an issue that I'm coming across is or that I'll have to kind of modify as I go is Brazil don't actually build on their coasts or on the water line and they have to build a certain distance uh, away from the water. In island living obviously we can build on top of the water and we can't really interact with the terrain in that way to change it so I'll either have to change that. And mentioning of the snowy escape a minute ago so I was recently in Austria and maybe the idea would be to do some kind of uh, German influence style architecture or Austrian style architecture this kind of um, I don't know what you call that countryside <laughs> but yeah pure ski resort vibe um, so that might be as well on the cards in the next few weeks because I'm going to probably jitter back and forth from the two of these I probably won't be able to continue in one style completely but uh, it'll definitely get done soon So as you can see here, I'm just trying to return to the gate again and honestly finding a front gate that would have suited because I kind of needed to do a double gate and I didn't like any of the double gates so I got two single gates and I rotated one around and that was grand. But it, it was just difficult to find a gate and that's why as well I never made the inside look like a garage. I could have possibly also just made that front part look like a garage and done the double gate but um, it just didn't look right it wouldn't have been what like a car would have went into and stuff so I think having the car park around the side was really nice maybe we could put up like a little sign if you wanted like it to be like a vacation lot or something so it looked like a little villa that uh, like for an Airbnb that you can rent out I might make one or two of these vacation lots um, I need to find something as well that will suit these kind of bar lots or something else because you know you just kind of want the variety as well I also have the spa pack so obviously one thing I always wanted to do uh, was just have a really gorgeous seaside spa retreat thing and once again I've looked on Insta Instagram uh, Pinterest not Instagram a lot for ideas but they're always kind of just overdone or over the top or um, I've tried once or twice to do this super like unrealistic architecture and stuff that I've seen on actually Instagram from our different architecture groups but it just became really really hard so um, but I have one or two ideas for that so that's another thing that needs to go into this area and then really we'll call it a happy dappy.
you can see now what I meant at the front. Also, that double gate when I tried to place it in front of the house was actually not symmetrical to the house. And that's also another reason that it just had to be moved over. And then you can see as well that I had to do the double pillars to make sure that the roof made sense where it was. Um, so it just looked more uh, right to have that gate there and kind of have it coming through to the path. Then we have the closed off backyard and then I'm going to put in that roof and a wall to separate that off from the back so it looks like a private backyard. And then the last finishing touches are just some bushes, some rocks and some of the terrain paint just to kind of make it a bit messier. I kind of use a mix of terrain paint as well because I kind of like the big rocks and then to use the gravel on top so it kind of looks like oh there might have been some bigger rocks under it and then I literally spam bushes um, and obviously I just put lots of palm trees and stuff coconut trees because that's not unusual for Brazil they have lots of coconuts um, <laughs> so that was about it for this bit Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for checking it out. If you'd like to see the next one, maybe next time I won't pick green as the color for the head. It was actually in the original photo green, but you know, uh, we'll change that up. Um, but if you'd like to see more of it, if you stayed to this point as well, thank you very, very much. And if you have stayed to this point, I hope you won't mind giving it a like and maybe subscribing exactly that if you want to see the next time, maybe hear me not sound sick that would be really nice and i'd really really appreciate that and i hope that you have a lovely day and you enjoy the rest of the video and i do hope that next time you come back to see the next one hopefully thank you bye